hello everyone in this session we will discuss the schematic diagram of the slip rings so in the last session we discuss about the, the construction how it is construction in this we have this part is available there the slip rings this part is known as the slip rings part so these are the slip rings part how actually what are the inside connections are available for the slip rings how practically it is the connections are, we will discuss in this session so here this is the schematic diagram just look at here just observe here this is r y b this is the star connector rotor windings just rotor winding is represented in these turns this is the this is the r phase three phase winding this is the y phase another phase this is the b phase this r phase is connected through a slip ring again b phase is connected through a slip ring again here y phase is connected through a slip rings so this is r this is y this is b and through these slip rings we have the brushes are available so these are the brushes these are these green color is brushes stationary brushes these are not rotating okay and these will be connected to the external resistances so these are the external connected resistors for this is r resistor this is for y this is b okay while it rotating while it rotating and the connection will be rotates but brushes are stationary and the external resistance will be added in this for this winding so just look at here same diagram is there this is r phase y phase v phase r phase is connected to one thing y phase is connected to one thing c phase is connected to one thing and these are the slip rings these are the slip rings just look at the diagram the previous diagram is there just observe here this is the winding r phase slip ring y phase slip ring b phase slip ring these are the external resistances external resistances so this is the old rotor connections look at here the three phase connected rotor windings are connected external resistance through the slip rings and brush arrangements so look at here these three phases are connected this is the slip ring this is the ring like a slip and connected through a brushes with the external resistance this area slip rings made up of pass power branch so just keep in your mind pass power branch comma brass so the combination of branch and brass it will be design the rings slip rings means these rings are available this is the rings and there is a shaft is available like this there is a shaft shaft is available they are placed on the rotating shaft which made of the mild steel insulated through a mica so so here the slip rings have we have the slip rings slip rings are made with a material pass power branch pass power branch brass is the material and they are placed on the rotating made up of the mild steel so we have a shaft is there the shaft is made with the mild steel you know the importance of the steel steel is the very strongest element that's why we are using look at here this is the shaft this is made with the steel this is the made with the steel these three are the slip rings okay here the, there is no showing of the shaft is there okay next and insulated through a mica and we have the insulation material is available between these two points so this is the shaft this is the shaft and is a one slip ring and second slip ring and third slip ring so we have the insulation material between to avoid the contact to avoid the contact that is made with the mica so insulation material is made with mica why the insulation material in order to avoid to current to flow between the windings and the uh, windings and the shaft and the shaft should be sharp and stiff shaft should be very sharp and stiff to avoid the unbalance of mechanical pull so sometimes it, it is has possible unbalance of mechanical pull to avoid this we are using the shaft is 
stiff and sharp right here the brushes are made with carbon to reduce the frictional losses here just observe here we have the brushes available these are the brushes brushes is to give the contact between the external resistance and the phases so the importance of the brushes is brushes is give contact between external resistance and the winding phase windings and the winding currents okay generally this is made with the carbon to reduce the frictional losses so sometimes brushes are made with the copper also made with the copper also but a special reason for the carbon is by using the carbon there is a less frictional losses are available and so this is the importance of the the slip rings of the squirrel gauge induction motor and the most important thing these slip rings are very much useful to connect between external resistance and the phases this external adding the external resistance we have more advantages that we should discuss so we discussed about the external resistance what are the features by adding the external resistance here the starting torque can be improved the starting torque can be improved how so generally you know that the starting torque is proportional to the generally resistance rotor resistance but here we are externally added some resistance so it will be added so the complete term rotor resistance and external resistance will be added therefore the starting torque will be improved therefore the starting torque will be improved so second the starting current can be reduced need of starters can be eliminated how generally the starting current of the rotor current of the rotor is generally this is the formula v by r2 plus for resistance we are adding the external resistance external plus j x2 not j x2 not so this will be improved then automatically the starting current can be starting current of the rotor can be decreased so whenever the rotor current can be decreased automatically there is no requirement of the starters generally what is the intention of the starters starter intention is to reduce the starting reduce the starting current to save the winding that is the main importance of the start next rotor power factor can be improved so what is the rotor power factor generally the rotor power factor formula rotor power factor will represents like this cos phi 2 equal to r2 by r2 by j2 generally the rotor power factor for this for this is adding the external resistance how it modified the rotor power factor is like this that is r2 plus external resistances by j2 that means numerator will be increased whenever here the numerator is increased automatically the power factor will also be increased that's why the rotor power factor can be improved this is very much improvement in the rotor power factor next fourth with additional resistances the speed of the motor can be controlled during the running condition so in the running condition it can be the speed can be controlled in our hand how so here by the torque generally the torque is like this k v square by r2 plus r external square so this is the generally the torque formula this is a generally the torque formula that is the torque equal k into s into v square by r2 plus r external square so by this just look at here the starting this external the r2 will have in our control because external resistance we can control we can add we can add or decrease the external resistance then the torque can be controlled whenever torque can be controlled then automatically speed of the motor can be controlled so that's why by additional of the resistance the speed of the 
the speed of the motor can be controlled that that means it is in our hand it is in our hand so these are the features of the external resistance what are the important features here first thing starting torque can be improved second starting torque can be reduced by that starters can be avoided here the rotor power factor can be improved for by that the overall power factor can be improved so by this external resistances motor can be controlled during running condition during running condition we can control the we can control the speed so these are the very very important features of the external resistance that why the addition of the external resistance says r improve the running performance improve the running performance okay so this is about the schematic diagrams of the slip springs and the features of the external resistance i hope all of you understand the session thank you